Time now, 21 and a half minutes after the hour. In Britain, they don't celebrate Halloween quite the way we do, although sometimes it sure looks like it. They call it posh punk, and Susan Peterson has more from London. From the storefront on London's King's Road, it's hard to believe that this is a place of revolt. The sign reads, Clothes for Heroes. The heroes are punks, those who dare to dress differently. Some punk rockers are switching from makeshift outfits with safety pins and chains to stores like this one, which cater exclusively to their idea of fashion. Posh punk, it's called, and it's not cheap. Prices range from $10 for t-shirts to $70 for jackets with matching bondage straps. Vivian Westwood, a former school teacher, designs these outfits to confront and provoke. Most of her outfits come with a ragged silk banner which says, no future. It's liberating to wear a rag, Westwood says. She calls her designs the urban gorilla look. Her customers particularly like the long pants, complete with loincloths and straps. Bits of tie your legs together. Tie them together? Yes. Yeah, doesn't that make it hard to walk? Um, it's not even walking, but you can't run very well. I see. You can undo the hooks and tie them together if you want to. There's also a, a hole here. I could put my arms through there and use this sleeve as scarves, right? Ah. Um, so you can do a lot of things with these. They're very adaptable. I can put, like, anything in the shop would go with something else. What about um, the uh, swastika and the skulls? Yeah, well, the swastika is... Um, I wear I wear this swastika because I think it looks good. That's the main reason that I like, that I wear it. Um, but I expect it's a, uh, an expression of revolt, really, that um, that you wear that symbol. Westwood specialises in T-shirts with pornographic motifs, or punk heroes like a convicted rapist who terrorised women in the city of Cambridge. Westwood believes the punk look will catch on. Already, some Paris designers are saying that fashion is becoming a four-letter word, punk. Susan Peterson, CBS News, London. Could you read me the punk? Stay with us.